Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Today I'm going to take you along on the start of my single seed challenge. I was indirectly challenged by Gardener Scott, and I'll put a link to his uh, video up above, on doing a single seed challenge for 2020. This challenge is where we're going to take a single seed um, that we've selected and watch it grow from when we plant it to uh, letting it grow to transplanting to harvest to saving the seeds for the following year. We're going to follow one single seed throughout the entire year and we're going to video that uh, seed or the plant as it goes throughout the year. So I'm going to show you which seed I have chosen for the challenge and take you on the beginning parts of this journey. Okay, so this is the single seed um, plant that I decided to work with this year. I'm not sure why my uh, camera is not picking up the um, words or anything without blurring it out, but um, this is called a Christmas lima bean. Um, it's a really pretty colored lima bean, and I got this uh, from a seed swap. And I was able to look this up and purchase some more seeds because um, my husband loves lima beans. So I figured I would get some more for him. And so I looked up where they came from and, uh, and my gardener actually has, there we go, had to find them. And my gardener actually has the Christmas lima bean. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really pretty looking bean. So I'm going to use what I got. From the seed swap, I'm going to use uh, one of these seeds um, for the seed challenge, and then I will also use the other seeds. I'm actually going to grow um, quite a few of these for my husband this year. So I'm going to take you along as I get ready to plant this seed, and we'll start following its journey this year. Okay, so I'm getting ready to plant that seed for the one seed challenge and got a couple things I gotta get situated here but um, I do what's called winter sowing and it's where I start my seeds in milk jugs or other similar containers and you will see that I have my milk jug set up here. And I'm just making sure I get my label here. I had a bunch of labels made, but um, they disappeared on me. It happens sometimes. Um, so you take a milk jug and you cut it in half um, after you put drain holes in the bottom. That's easier to do when you don't cut it. But uh, you take a milk jug, put drain holes in the bottom, a couple up on the side about one inch up in case your bottom holes don't drain uh, gives your uh, water a place to go but I have drain holes here and then a couple there and I left a hinge sort of what's left of it um, so it has a way to stay open when it's time to open them and let them uh, get acclimated to the sunshine and the uh, the, the wind but anyways really really simple to do I take my soil and I use a very good high quality organic potting mix this is by happy frog or uh, excuse me this is by fox farms I usually use happy frog they were out of that specific variety, so I ended up getting Ocean Forest instead. And then what we're going to do is we're going to soak down our soil. Soak it really good. And I always let the soil drain a little bit first, tap it down. And then see if it needs some additional water because we put a lot of soil in here and we want to make sure that it's all wet because this jug's gonna be sealed up and kind of act like its own 
ecosystem. Almost like a terrarium, but not quite because it still has the opening in top. This allows for air circulation and um, when it rains around here, the rain goes in and helps water it. Um, or if you don't get rain, you can use this to uh, use a spray nozzle of a hose and water it. So, yeah. So this is, again, we're doing the Christmas lima bean that I got for the seed flop. If I can get the package open. These little Ziploc packages, sometimes you can't get open. All right, and for winter sowing, um, I just plant them right on top and gently push down into the soil. You don't want them too deep because they'll rot. So, I don't know. I think I'll take this one. Um, it's the biggest and uh, just looks really cool. So this is going to be for my seed challenge, this guy here. So I'm going to put that one in the corner and just press it down into the soil a little bit just so it's seeded in there and it's not going to slide around. For my large seeds like uh, beans and corn and peanuts and squash, um, I plant five seeds per jug. I do a, a dice pattern, five die. So I got four, one in each corner, and then one right in the middle. Then I'll put in my, my tag for what that is. And then I'm going to mark um, that this specifically, this bean, is for my one seed challenge. And yep, it fits directly. Wasn't sure if that would fit or not because that is a tall label, but it is, it is. So now we have our seed mark for the one seed challenge. So I'm going to seal this up once I figure out where I put my tape. And then I'm going to just start taping it. And then this is going to go directly outside to sit with my other jugs that are out there. And we will wait a couple days. Well, more than a couple days. It'll probably be a couple weeks um, before this guy germinates. And I will show you what it looks like as we progress down the challenge. So, um, I hope that you will join me and do a single seed challenge of your own if you haven't started your seeds already and um, just use the hashtag single seed challenge 2020 so other people who are watching the challenge can um, join and, and keep an eye on what's going on with your seeds so I'll see you guys uh, a little bit later in a couple weeks with an update on our uh, beans and I have to write down what they are on here but um, yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye-bye.